Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about what to do when your iPhone won't factory reset. Maybe you need to restore an old iPhone to factory settings to return it as part exchange after buying a new phone but the reset process gets stuck randomly. Perhaps you can't factory reset iPhone because it doesn't accept the passcode. Or you get locked out of the iPhone and don't know how to factory reset it. Don't panic, let's go over what causes your iPhone not to let you factory reset it and some useful troubleshooting steps. Why will the iPhone not reset to factory settings? Software glitches or bugs, poor network, and outdated iOS software are common reasons. These factory resetting failure issues are easy to fix. Sometimes, you might be unable to reset your iPhone to factory settings due to some unexpected causes. It covers forgotten passcode, having no iCloud account and password, malware attacks, and so on. Besides, hardware damage like cracked screen, broken buttons, and wet damage could also prevent you from resetting the iPhone to factory settings. Thankfully, you can get your device booting and running again on your own. So here's what to do when the iPhone will not restore to factory settings. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step. Besides, if you have any questions, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Restart the phone. Let's get started by resolving the minor system glitches or software bugs. The troubleshooting solution here is to do a restart. Believe it or not, sometimes this simple trick can do much more than you can think. Now, follow the steps that match your iPhone models to do a power cycle. For an iPhone 10, 11, or later iPhone models, press and hold the volume up or down button and the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. To turn your device back on, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. For an iPhone 8 or older iPhone models, press and hold the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. To turn your device back on, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. After your iPhone boots up, try to factory reset the device as you do before and see if it goes well now. Check the network connection. See if this sounds familiar with you. You're doing a factory reset via the settings app or a computer. Everything goes well until the reset process hangs randomly. Finally, your iPhone doesn't respond after selecting the factory reset or restore option or gets stuck on an Apple logo screen with a progress bar. If you do, then the network connection might not be working. To fix it, if you reset the iPhone in settings, go to connect a Wi-Fi network with strong signals. If you restore an iPhone to its factory defaults via a computer, Make sure the internet network on the machine is stable and fast or you can restart the router. Once done, see now if you can factory reset your iPhone normally. Update the system. What's the last time you updated your iPhone? If the answer is a long time ago, there might be an iOS error. Because of the interference from the system, iPhone won't allow you to factory reset. The troubleshooting solution here is to update the device. Open the Settings app. Tap on General. Choose Software Update. Your iPhone will start checking if there's an update available. If there is, it'll prompt you to download and install an update to upgrade the iOS system. Just press the Download and Install option. Finish the on-screen instructions to trigger the update process to start. If you still can't reset iPhone to factory settings after the update, try the advanced steps below. Factory Reset iPhone through iCloud. If your iPhone won't reset in the Settings app or a computer for some reasons, consider bringing the device back to its factory settings remotely. iCloud gives you a way to do that, as long as you remember the credentials of the iCloud account you've logged in on the iPhone that will not reset to factory settings. No need to enter lock passcode. No need to press buttons. All you need is to go to iCloud.com in a browser and type Apple ID and password to sign in. Once logged in, find the Find My iPhone option and select it. Open the drop-down menu of the devices list. Choose the iPhone you want to factory reset. Then, choose Erase this iPhone. It'll prompt you if you really want to factory reset the device and erase everything. Just confirm and it'll trigger the erase process. Hope your iPhone is factory resetting now and the process goes smoothly. Did you just buy an iPhone from someone else and it's locked by iCloud? If this is the reason why you cannot reset iPhone to the factory settings, contact the previous owner to repeat the steps above to erase the device. Factory reset iPhone through recovery mode. What if you can't reset iPhone when it's locked or frozen and you have no iCloud account and password at all? You still have hope. Enter recovery mode and do a factory reset on iPhone with iTunes or Finder. Here are the steps. Get a PC or a Mac. 
Make sure you have the latest version of iTunes installed, or Finder on macOS Catalina and later. Open iTunes or Finder and plug your iPhone that won't let you factory reset into the machine. Next, go into recovery mode by pressing some buttons on your phone. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Head to the iTunes or Finder window. You should see a dialog box opening with update and restore button. As you need to force an iPhone to factory reset, choose the restore option. Finish the steps that follow until the restore process starts. This might take a long time. If your device exits recovery mode midway, just repeat the steps to enter recovery mode again and continue the restore process. Once done, let your iPhone restart. If it brings you to the hello screen, it means that the factory reset is done. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on what to do when your iPhone won't reset to factory settings. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.